So myself, along with Sam, Johnny and Bobby, are all in our third year at the University of Sheffield studying aerospace engineering. Even though we have been all working digitally during these uncertain times, we've been able to use the 3D experience platform to our advantage and use our collective strengths and attributes to complete this challenge. So our design centres around sustainability and aims to tackle multiple issues in one solution. In each wheel of the landing gear will be a motor. This will be used to taxi in a very similar way to current electric taxiing. However, the difference is that when the aircraft lands, these systems work as generators and will store a huge amount of energy lost during the landing. So to briefly summarise our design, the electric recovery system will use integrated motors for taxiing Therefore, the engines will not be required during taxi. The energy generated from landing will be restored in a battery designed by Airbus and the electric braking means that less maintenance will be required. Having been given the opportunity to design something which we believed would incorporate the future of propulsion, we didn't just want to create an extremely sustainable design, but also a solution which could help human life. So, with this, Stratis set out researching a project that would have both of these main considerations at heart. 
After some collaboration, the team decided on our concept, the organ drone. The drone plane design was created to transport organs for emergency transplant operations quickly and autonomously while also being kind to the environment. The nose is detachable and opens the storage area inside the body where the cooled and insulated storage box is placed and strapped in. It utilises hydrogen fuel cells to power its propulsive motors and has a cambered wing design which helps control the aircraft and increase efficiency during straight and level flight. The aircraft is quickly refueled using hydrogen canisters which are held at the rear and can be removed and inserted easily through the removable hatch just above them. The 3D Experience platform was vital to the completion of the project. The team utilised multiple apps throughout the solution generation to collaborate by planning our tasks and next actions, sharing research documents and helpful literature, creating, assembling and testing components of our design and keeping up with the 3D Experience community for helpful tips about using the platform. The team set out on researching sustainable propulsion methods which we could use within our design and debated about the use of multiple forms of sustainable propulsion. These included sustainable aviation fuels, hydrogen combustion, battery electric and hydrogen fuel cells. We wanted to incorporate a true zero emissions concept which allowed us to rule out sustainable aviation fuels and hydrogen combustion as some greenhouse gases are still emitted with their use even though carbon is reduced either mostly or completely. This left us with a choice between battery electric and hydrogen fuel cells, which could both be a viable option. However, after some research it was found that at certain temperatures and pressure conditions, hydrogen can possess a much higher volumetric and gravimetric energy density than batteries can. This means that hydrogen could store more energy in a smaller volume and weight value than batteries could. It is important to note, however, that currently battery electric propulsion would be a more likely choice for this design concept due to it being more cost effective and simpler to implement. Hydrogen currently costs more than similar capacity batteries and must be stored at certain temperatures and pressures to give its optimum energy density, possibly meaning new storage solution would be required. Despite this, future research and development into hydrogen fuel cells utilisation could allow the fuel to become cheaper and may also allow us to unlock its full energy potential, making it a vast improvement on current battery solutions. Hydrogen fuel cells are able to generate electricity through electrochemical reactions, which combine hydrogen from a fuel source with oxygen from the air. This process happens without the need for combustion and only emits heat and water in the form of vapour as its byproducts. Our design takes a simple plastic approach to implementing this using hydrogen filled cylinders for our fuel storage connected to two 400 watt output power cell modules which produce the electric power. These are both connected to a power path module which allows the linking of two fuel cells in series and creates a summative output power for the electric motors to utilise. The design process was carried out by multiple team members and through the ability to collaborate using SOLIDWORKS and the 3D Experience platform. All of the aircraft's components were designed and altered using X-Design and X-Shape and assembled together to make the complete prototype model. During the first iteration of the design process, the team considered the following requirements for the aircraft. Having an area for small cargo and being able to access this area. Being light and sturdy. Having a storage area for fuel cells and being easy to refuel. Capable of producing enough thrust to lift the cargo and transport it being fast enough to reduce the current, the current organ for transportation times and being able to take off and land vertically from hospitals. With these in mind, the initial concept of the organ donor design the organ donor design was thought of as being a small drone with a cargo load was discovered to be a heavier than expected. With this new information, we realised the drone would have to be scaled up to produce enough thrust uh, to transport the cargo. We also realised that with the wing design, may help with the concept to be more efficient and capable at higher speeds. This then led to the idea of a hybrid plane and drone with the inspiration coming from a V-22 Osprey aircraft. This allowed both vertical and horizontal flight, however the design was now larger. We realised it was the best to land on the rooftops of helipads like the ones that are seen in most major hospitals. 
design could now also make use of the wings, allowing it to fly faster and allow it to be more sufficient in lift and flight. We performed some structural analysis, simulations and components of our design using the Physics Results Explorer in Simulia. We carried out this testing on parts of our design which would be under the most intensive stresses and would therefore be most likely to fail. This helped us to understand sections of the design which could be improved through relating the maximum stress values to the chosen materials yield stress. As the 3D Experience platform is collaborative, it allowed all team members to view the results individually. This design could be developed by shedding unnecessary weight from the fuselage. Optimising the wing to produce greater lift, this could be implemented by adding in leading edge slots or extending flaps at the trailing edge. These accessories allow the flow to re-energise the laminar flow over the wing, which in turn will increase the aerodynamic lift capabilities. We could also measure aerodynamic performance by producing real results from calculations before adjusting the design to be optimised, making it a more viable product. The model could also look to utilise a cooling system to manage both the hydrogen storage temperature to optimise volumetric energy and the fuel cell heat emissions that could impact the internal temperature of the body. We are Team ELA, here to present our entry into the Dassault System Sustainable Aviation Competition 2020. Our team hails from the University of Bath and consists of four recent aerospace engineering graduates. My name is Owen Midder, I'm the competition team manager and systems engineering lead. I'm Mark Glazier, the design lead for this project. I'm Cameron Jones, the lead uh, simulation engineer and supply chain manager. And I'm Nick Daggett, the uh, propulsion engineer. At the University of Bath, the ELA, or Electric Light Aircraft team, have been designing solutions for the future of air travel since 2016. Our most aerodynamically efficient concept, a blended wing body aircraft, or BWB, would exhibit a lift to drag ratio of up to 25. Therefore, a BWB would provide a greater lifting capacity than similar sized uh, tube and wing aircraft, which could be used to carry a larger battery pack. This is the concept we decided to take forward. In order to give battery-powered flight the leg up it needs to reach the range required to service profitable regional routes, we decided to incorporate a beamed power solution. Beamed power refers to supplying power to the aircraft via electromagnetic radiation from a grounded source, reducing the need for the aircraft to carry its own stored energy in the form of batteries or fuel. While relying on beamed power for the whole flight would be unreasonable due to infrastructure requirements, Providing beam power during takeoff and climb phases would significantly increase the range of the aircraft by matching power drain during this time. A laser array would track photovoltaic cells on the underside of the aircraft with a combination of laser and photovoltaic chemistry chosen to match wavelengths for mi maximum conversion efficiency. A relatively brief time for the laser power transfer, transfer would mean that cooling would be a less serious issue than for the entirely laser powered flight 
as heat could be dissipated during the later phases of the flight. This use of beam power would help to improve the capabilities of battery-powered flight by reducing the reliance on battery energy density, which presently restricts electric aircraft to very short-range services. With this improved range, electric aircraft could replace those reliant on fossil fuels, flying higher passenger numbers on regional flights, and do this earlier than would be possible, relying solely on battery energy density improvements. Thank you.